Hello, hello. During a routine prenatal visit, ultrasound is used to estimate fetal age, determine the position and growth of the baby, and the health of the placenta. The ultrasound uses sound waves to produce an image of the unborn child for analysis. In high-risk pregnancies, the ultrasound is used to check for fetal abnormalities. Women approaching or beyond the age of 35 have a higher risk of having a baby with Down syndrome and other chromosomal abnormalities. Here, Dr. Cohen performs a detailed ultrasound to help rule out birth defects. While the ultrasound cannot diagnose chromosomal or other abnormalities, it is a useful screen for estimating risk and the need for additional diagnostic tests, such as amniocentesis. Down syndrome is the most common chromosomal problem in live-born babies, okay? That's why you hear so much about it. Probably 50% of all the chromosomal abnormalities of babies that are born alive is Down syndrome. The risk of a woman having a baby with Down syndrome who is 35 years old at the time of delivery is 1 in 270 pregnancies. The risk of having a baby with any chromosomal abnormality is about twice that risk, since Down syndrome makes up about half. Okay. That means that there's more than a 99% chance that you will not have a baby with a chromosomal abnormality just based on your age alone. Now there's only one way to know for sure whether or not a baby has Down syndrome or a chromosomal abnormality prior to the birth of the baby, and that's to undergo an amniocentesis. In an amniocentesis, they take out some fluid from around the baby and analyze it to look at the chromosomes. Now this is great in that you find out yes or no, uh -huh. but the downside of amniocentesis is a 1 in 200 risk of losing the pregnancy. So before one engages in an amniocentesis, one has to really make sure that you really want to know this piece of information and that most of the time that you would do something about this piece of information before risking the pregnancy per se. Okay, but if you tell us that the, the ultrasound looks normal, the risk of the amniocentesis is it's 2x twice. the risk of... You are, you are exactly right. Okay, so. If the ultrasound is normal, the risk of you losing the pregnancy because of what I do with that amniocentesis is twice as high as the risk of you having a baby with Down syndrome. Now let's look at a few things to take a little tour of the baby. The uh, baby is in the breech presentation, which means that the head is up here, and the spine leads down here. So the bum is down, okay? Now, 95% of the time, the baby's gonna turn around by the time you reach full term. So the first thing that we look at is we look at the position of the baby. The second thing is we look at the placenta. This is the placenta right here, sort of a meaty looking uh, thing in the front of your uterus and it looks excellent. This is the organ that feeds the baby nutrients and oxygen and it looks terrific. Next thing that we look at is we go down the baby starting with the baby's head. This is the skull and you can see that bones are white and we're going to look at the brain. This sort of hot dog looking thing right here is called the cerebellum. This is a very, very important structure because when the cerebellum is normal, the chance that the baby has spina bifida is very, very small. And for people of Irish descent, spina bifida is much more common for the Irish and the English than it is in the United States. And we're going to look at the baby's spine. Can you see the spine in mm -hmm. that shot? Coming down. It's a lovely spine. You can see this object beating right here. It's the baby's heart. This is the thigh bone. Yeah. 
absolutely see the you can see the little ball joint at the top. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Isn't it? So we make measurements of the limb length, and if the femur length, the thigh bone length, is short, that is associated with Down syndrome. Yeah. This is a nice looking baby, no two ways about it. It's great. You guys do good work.